felt that the, you know, the quality was there, and sometimes the patient would even get scared of looking at a you know, 3D image of itself. The 2D pictures, you can make them really crisp and nice. So we are, we are, we're trying to develop a technology here where we can take the, show the teeth on the 2D picture, but 3D rendered. So it's not just like a 2D, you know, it's a 3D rendered tooth on a 3D picture. But obviously in order to do that, we need to first align the, the images and we, we have some technology to that. And the first thing is actually here to ask for the, for the eye line. So we can directly go in here and click. So then we get the horizontal and it actually corrects the whole picture. So if the picture is a little skip, it will directly correct that. And the same for the midline, you can add that in and you can even put in horizontal lines down here and that will then come into the 3D window where everything is lined up. Uh, we can cut out teeth, I'm not gonna do that. Um, and we can do the alignment. I'm just gonna quickly show you how it aligns here. So basically you will have to identify a few points here both in 3D, it needs a few points to, to, to basically line up the the, the 3D image with the 2D image. And I'm just gonna identify here uh, four points. And then it will align these two images to each other. And I can go out of this one. And and um, and we can even, whoops, now I changed actually the color here. That's with the, with the live demos. Uh, so you can even take the shade here from our neighboring teeth uh, to have that real view. And now you can see the, the, the actual, you know, um, shaded renderings in here in your, in your 3D view. You can obviously turn it on and off, as, and as you turn it off, it goes back into your normal 3D. But if I make, uh, you know, just to show you that it's actually working, one tooth longer here, and I then turn off the, on the picture, then you see immediately uh, these kind of things. So that's one thing we are continuously working on, trying to prove this, this type of technology <coughs> to a level where hopefully one day we can, we can even use it for, you know, even more better pacing complication, okay? That's all in 2014 version. 